Would you like a 10 pound weight loss over the summer this year? Okay, my last suggestion, you are not gonna like it. Stay tuned because I'm gonna give you some great tips that are gonna help you do just that. So, you wanna lose 10 pounds over the summer? Absolutely doable. A healthy weight loss is between one and two pounds per week. So if you're losing more than that, you're losing muscle. If you are just starting out and you're overweight, that first week you may lose five pounds. A lot of it is water weight. Don't be too alarmed. I know you're gonna be ecstatic, but <laughs> a lot of times it's just water because you're flushing out your system. But ideally, two pound weight loss is the maximum that you should be aiming for each week. If you want a 10 pound weight loss over the summer, totally doable, because it's 10 weeks, right? The summer's about three months long, totally doable. 12 weeks, you can do this, okay? So my first suggestion is to work out, obviously. <laughs> so make sure you have a great workout lined up. This time of year is the perfect time of year to be outside, depending on where you live. But if you're out in South Jersey, it's a great time to be outside and it's a great time to take your workout outside. So I have a great workout for you that you can download today. It's a workout on a swing set. So if you have kids or grandkids and you're taking them to the park, guess who gets to play on the playground with the kids? You. You can download that free workout in the description below. You can also go to this link, shapeitupfitness.com, get outside, and you can download your free copy of my outdoor workout. My next suggestion is to take a break during the day. Whether you are working still or whether you have off, take a break in the middle of the afternoon. Don't take a siesta unless you really need it, but <laughs> if you're working, I don't think that's gonna fly with your boss. But go take a walk, Go out in nature, do some yoga moves, do some stretches, anything to kind of just decompress. I am a big proponent of listening to like audible.com and books on tape, that kind of thing, even music to kind of keep me going. But if you can take a 15 minutes to a half hour and just unplug, just relax your mind and just go for a nice little walk in nature or if you are stuck in a building, walk around the building, anything to just kind of decompress. So definitely take a break one time during the day. My next tip is to add vegetables to each meal. Depending on how many meals you're eating, hopefully you're eating a minimum of three. Um, I personally eat a lot of meals. I eat like six meals a day. So <laughs> depending on how many meals you eat. But try to aim for three meals that mainly consist of vegetables. Vegetables are perfect this time of year. They are in full bloom. Again, depending on where you live, it's a great time to get vegetables. So add vegetables to your meals for three meals every day. Okay, my last suggestion, you are not gonna like it. And the reason why I put it in here is because I realized I needed to do this for myself. So my last tip is put a bathing suit on every day. You're not gonna like it. Oh, wait a minute. Put a bathing suit on every day and take pictures in your bathing suit. You don't have to take it in front of people, but take a front, so a front picture, a side picture, and a back picture. Now today, we have these lovely little iPhones that you can set them up with a timer, set the phone up, hit the timer, and let the picture roll. But I promise you, you will be very, very aware of what's going on back there. <laughs> so, um, and again, it depends on what your goals are. If your goal is more physique oriented, it's not a vanity thing. I mean, some people may think it's a vanity thing and that's totally fine. But if that's a goal of yours or if you wanna fit in a certain pair of pants, put those pants on, take a picture in them and do that as often as you can. I really think it'll help you stay on track. And once you get rolling with it, you're gonna be able to do it like that every day. So. Take a picture of yourself in a bathing suit. If you really want to go crazy, make it a bikini and see what happens, see how it affects you. Now, if it starts affecting you mentally and you are kind of beating yourself up over it, like, oh, you know, why can I not do this? That kind of thing. Don't beat yourself up over it. Just use it as motivation to keep propelling forward. If you would like help propelling your fitness forward, go ahead and check out my Get Fit program. It's at shapeitupfitness.com slash get fit. It's a great way to stay accountable and I will help you get where you want to be. So remember for a 10 pound weight loss, you need to be losing two pounds roughly each week. 
And if you are struggling with that and you want some help, go ahead and head over to shapeitupfitness.com. I'd be happy to help you out. So thank you again for being here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who could use this information, please go ahead and share it with them. Thank you so much for being here all this month on the Shape It Up channel. I will be giving you summer tips that you can actually use. So stay tuned for the next Shape It Up video. Remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. And I'll see you in the next Shape It Up video. So I'm trying something new with the hair. This is actually my natural wave. Thumbs up. No. We'll see. Very crazy. Have a good day. <laughs>